Yo, what is up, guys? This is Ryan, and I am back. Of course, this is Thursday. Not only is it Rack Deck Thursday, it is also Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys have an awesome Thanksgiving. This is our little uh, Thanksgiving Day video. Uh, I should have made like a turkey day, like a turkey deck or something. That would have been funny as hell. But uh, I wasn't thinking, so I'm going to be bringing you uh, this awesome sea serpent deck that I made. It's very wreck. It's so much fun to use. People uh, don't expect it, just like all the red decks. I want to try and bring red decks back to the way they were uh, when they were truly, truly wreck. And I, to be honest, I don't even know if some of these cards are real. I was just searching through different archetypes, and I found this guy. And I just thought the name was funny, the effect was funny, so I made a deck based around the Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. And that's, that's, a, that's a mouthful. But uh, he's a Sea Serpent, 2100. By tributing one Torpedo Fish on your side of the field, destroy a monster. By tributing one Cannonball Spear Shellfish on your side of the field, destroy a Speller Trap. So, I mean, how can you not want to use that? So, three Orcas, two Torpedo Fish, two Cannonball Spear Shellfish. And both of these are the same. Uh, if an Umi's on the field, these are unaffected by spell cards. So, that's kind of cool. Three Deep Sea Divas. Uh, Divas is going to basically search out blue balls. So you can Synchro into five, or if you want another Diva to, sing, or to uh, exceed into Gachi Gachi. I'm not sure why I'm not running Gachi Gachi in here, but definitely put Gachi Gachi in here, guys. Uh, test this out on the Duel Network as well. Uh, two Armed Sea Hunters. He's uh, a good beater. 2,000 when you have the Legendary Ocean out. Uh, and he can also... Uh, if he would be destroyed, you can destroy a level 3 or lower water type monster uh, to be destroyed instead. So that's a pretty good effect. One Levier Dragon Deitus. Or I don't know. Did I skip over blue balls? I think I did. Two blue balls. Uh, I never thought I'd use this in a deck, but you can tribute him to destroy a spell or trap. So two lost blue breaker. One Deitus. He, he's funny. Uh, his effect's good. You can send Umi and. Uh, destroy all cards on the field, so I'll show you how that works. Two Thriller Rabica. Uh, he's like a mini Necrogardener that drops their uh, attack by 500, only if they're attacking Sea Serpents, though. Or, not Sea Serpents, I'm sorry. Fish, Sea Serpents, or Aqua type. So basically everything in the deck negates the attack and then drops him. If he's in the graveyard, you banish him to do that. The way you get him into the graveyard quickly... Nimble Sunfish, uh, when he's destroyed by battle, send a fish-type monster from your deck to the grave. Then special summon another Nimble Sunfish from your deck. Good floater, good two-star, target for surface, just like almost everything else in this deck. So he's good. Three surface brings them all back uh, for the Orca Mega. So I usually use surface to get back Torpedo Fish and uh, Cannonball. Destroy their whole field. Dark Hole, Reborn, Heavy Storm, Book of Moon. Uh, be careful when you're using your Heavy Storm in this deck. Here's the field spell, a Legendary Ocean. Downgrade all water monsters in both players' hands by one. So you can just normal summon the the Orca. And it becomes a 2300, so that's, fu that's real great. It, it's a funny card to use. So definitely suggest this. Uh, and then Soul Exchange. If you don't have your Legendary Ocean, Soul Exchange is amazing just to get the Orc out, suck up their monster, <laughs> summon over it, and then surface back for a Torpedo Fish and wipe out the rest of their field if they have any. Uh, as for Traps, Mirror Force, Double Magic Cylinder, underrated card, uh, but some mad work for me, so that's funny. Double Poseidon Wave. Poseidon Wave uh, is basically like another Magic Cylinder, negates the attack. And for however many uh, Sea Serpent Fish and Aqua Type monsters you have on the field, it inflicts 800 life points damage for all those monsters on the field. So if you have three, it's 2400 damage. It's pretty funny. Forgotten Temple of the Deep. I don't see. I don't even know if these cards are real, guys. But when this card is face up on the field, it is Umi, so it's another target for Deitus. And uh, once per turn, you can remove from play one face up level four or lower Fish, Sea Serpent, or Aqua monster you control. So, a lot of the time, I will use this to banish a torpedo fish or uh, a cannonball spear fish or whatever they are and uh, just take the damage and then I can summon into the orca and then surface them back. It's a great play. It always works. Uh, I really love it. 
And then the one card that I might take out is the Underworld Egg Clutch. Uh, when a face up sea serpent, fish, or aqua monster is banished, add one level 4 or lower from your deck to your hand. So it's good if you have the Forgotten Temple, but other than that, I, I don't really suggest that. You could definitely throw in, like, Threatening Roar would be a good one 